I'm Amy McDermott with Remax Professionals and the Jennifer Queen team. And today we're in one of my favorite neighborhoods, St. Mattel. You're currently joining me on a walk in this lovely Had to Lift Park. Surprisingly, I've never been here before, but it is stunning. It's definitely the next place I'm taking my family. St. Patel is a neighborhood within the city of Winnipeg, Manitoba, and is a classic Winnipeg neighborhood that is always sought after because of its central location and the immense amount of amenities it offers. The location works well with the Winnipeg transit system. You can get almost anywhere in the city quickly and efficiently. The city has great schools, sports teams, and beautiful parks. The community was established by Francophone settlers in 1822 and is the second oldest permanent settlement in Manitoba after Kildonan. St. Vital remains a strong Francophone community with almost 17% of the residents who speak both English and French. St. Vital is one of the larger neighborhoods here in Winnipeg, but it really has to give credit to those smaller neighborhoods like Norman Park, Minnetonka, Bright Oak, Polberry. Norbury, Elm Park, River Park South, South St. Patel, River Point, Meadowwood, South Glen, and Dakota Crossing, and many more that make it up as a whole. If you are looking for more details on a certain neighborhood within St. Patel, check out our other YouTube videos. We have highlighted several of them. The borders of the area include Carrier Avenue to the north, St. Anne's Road to the east, Perimeter Highway in the south, and the Red River to the west. Homes in this neighborhood range in age from the early 1900s to the present day. Because St. Vitale tends to have bigger lots, sometimes we see what we call infills. And an infill, in case you don't know, is a property that somebody has or purchases and tears down the current house because it's no longer habitable and they tear it down and then they build brand new. So if you're looking to live in a newer home uh, in a more established uh, neighborhood, then St. Vitale might be the place for you. The area also offers a very wide variety of home layouts and styles because it was built over such a span. Um, so you're really going to find everything from cab overs to two stories and bungalows, by levels and attached homes and condos, but mostly single family. The population of St. Mattel is approximately 67,500. The median household income is approximately 75,000 per year. Families with children is approximately 44% and approximately 72% of properties are owner occupied. The St. Vitale area is operated by the Louis Riel School Division and has a wide variety of French immersion schools as well as English schools. The English elementary schools include Glenwood, H.S. Paul, Hastings, Highbury, Lavely, Minnetonka, Samuel Burland, St. George, Victor H. L. Wyatt, Victor Magger, Windsor, and Darwin School. The French Immersion Elementary Schools include George McDowell, Julie Riel, Marie Anne Gabry, 
Saint Germain, and Verance. The high schools include Glenlawn Collegiate, Jean Sauve, and Dakota Collegiate. St. John's Ravencourt is a private school located in the nearby area of East Fort Gary and is approximately a 10 minute commute. St. Paul's High School is an all-male school located in Charleswood and is about 20 minutes away. St. Mary's Academy is an all-female school located in the River Heights area and is about a 15 minute drive from the area. The St. Vitale area has two public libraries, one the Louis Riel Public Library located at 1168 Dakota Street and the St. Mattel Library located at 6 Furmore Avenue. The closest urgent care centre is Victoria General Hospital and is about a 15 minute drive from the area. The closest emergency centre is St. Boniface Hospital and it's located at 409 Taché. The area really has it all from libraries to pools, indoor and outdoor, rinks, community centres, walking and bike trails, shopping of all kinds, including St. Patel Mall. The centre currently has large retail stores and approximately 140 smaller stores. Want something a little different? There's a wide variety of boutique style specialty shops and services scattered throughout the entire neighbourhood. If you're looking to do some renovations, the Home Depot is located about five minutes away, still within the St. Mattel area. There's also a Sobeys grocery store and a Michaels located in this area. If you're looking for just a little bit more variety, just over the Bishop Grandin Bridge is Pemna Crossing, where you'll find tons of other shopping, such as Staples, Best Buy, Toys R Us, Save On Foods, and more. The Keniston area has tons of shopping and it's conveniently located about 10 minutes away and has everything from Rona, Lowe's, The Brick, Costco, ample box store shopping, Marshalls, restaurants, groceries, you name it and they have it. St. Vitale is home to many green spaces, parks, community centers, leisure centers, as well as indoor ice arenas. Maple Grove features many amenities, including football fields, walking trails, and an off-leash dog park. And of course, the spectacular St. Vitale Park, where you will find activities to keep you busy in both the summer and winter. The Bishop Grandin Greenway, which follows the green space along Bishop Grandin from Lage or Highway 59 all the way to the Linden Woods area. The path also connects to the Pemina Highway bike trail system. Whether you're a more serious golfer or you just like to get out and play a couple rounds of year, the neighborhood and neighboring communities keep several golf courses. The Nyaqua Golf and Country Club, St. Boniface Golf Course, the Canoe Club, and Windsor Park Golf Course. 
fun fact, in the winter time, Windsor Park has a groomed cross-country ski trail. There is a YMCA located at 5 Fermore Avenue and offers a wide range of activities for all ages. The Riel House Natural Historic Site is another wonderful attraction and is truly incredible. The community is also served by major movie theater, the Silver City St. Vitale, located in the St. Vitale Shopping Centre and plays all the popular new release movies. There are at least six community centers scattered throughout the St. Vitale area. All of these facilities offer a great selection of activities for a wide age range. All of the centers include outdoor rinks in the winter and four of which have indoor rinks. The Dakota Community Center is by far the most impressive with two sheets of ice, field house, banquet room, gyms and so much more. I love the St. Vitel neighborhood, honestly, because it's all I've ever known. I moved to the city in 2006 while I attended the University of Manitoba and I lived in the Fork area in Fort Richmond neighborhood. St. Vitel is so close and convenient, so whenever I went shopping or I went to a movie, St. Vitel was the place to be. Over the years, I got to know it better and better and explored it more and more. And I couldn't imagine raising my family anywhere else. This neighborhood has everything I could have ever imagined. It's the best neighborhood in the city. It's close to everything. It's close to the university. It's walking distance to St. Vitel Mall on major bus routes to downtown to get to work. There's schools everywhere. Beautiful St. Patel Park. Everybody's got big yards, friendly neighbors. It's just, a, it's like a small town in a big city. What I know the most is St. Patel Park and it's, I just love it because you can do all kinds of activities here. You can skate and run and walk and bike. Uh, and it's very um, natural. It's, you really feel like you're out of the city. And uh, I biked here during the summer and we got to hear a music group playing here and it's just a beautiful park and um, I feel lucky that we have it. We just recently uh, retired and moved back to Manitoba from Ontario and we were born and raised, my husband and I, born and raised in uh, rural Manitoba and we love St. Patel because of all the outdoor amenities it has to offer from St. Patel Park to Hentaleaf Park to the Seine River. There's lots of walking and anyone who loves the outdoors and isn't afraid of a bit of cool weather, it's a great place to live. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you have an area you want us to feature, make sure to comment below. We'll be sure to get to it soon. Also, if you like what you're seeing and want to learn more about the areas in Winnipeg and real estate in general, make sure to hit that like button and follow us for more. See you soon.